Let's talk about jet skis and rockets and how a jet ski proves that space travel is not possible. Let us begin. Okay, here you have a jet ski, right? So how do jet skis work? Now, this is an explanation that I found on this website. It talks about Newton's laws here, but I wanted to read this section here really quick. So action and reaction, which is Newton's third law, is also called action and reaction. And you sometimes see it written like this. For every action or force, there is always an equal and opposite reaction, a force of the same size going the opposite way. It sounds counterintuitive, but it's perfectly true. Think about it. If you're on a skateboard and you want to go forward, you kick backward. The backward kick, the action, makes you go forward. The equal and opposite reaction. If you're in the sea and you want to swim forward using freestyle crawl, you pull backward with your arms. The backward pulling force of your arms, the action, makes you go forward. The equal and opposite reaction. That's where he gets into the space rockets trying to help you understand jet skis. Space rocket engines and airplane jet engines also work by action and reaction. In each case, the force of the hot gas rushing backward from the engine hurls the rocket or airplane forward through the air. People find the idea of action and reaction very confusing. It shouldn't be. Let's say you are swimming freestyle in the ocean and you pull backwards on the water with your arms. Now there's clearly an action force here. You pull backwards on the water. But if there's an equal and opposite reaction force, why don't these two forces simply cancel out? How come you go anywhere at all? The answer is that the action and the reaction act on different things. The action is you pulling back on the water. The reaction is your body moving through the water. The action is a force acting backwards on the water. The reaction is a force acting forwards on your body. The forces don't cancel out because they act on different things. And it goes on to talk about the pump and the impeller, which we'll get into. But uh, pay attention here. Pay attention. Well, you know what? Let's read this. Action reaction explain how a personal watercraft or jet ski works. The key to a personal watercraft is a small pump with a rotating part called an impeller. And when you crank the throttle, the pump sucks in water through a grate underneath the craft and the impeller blasts it out of a hole at the back. That would be the nozzle. So the force of the jet pushing backward action, it should read, as it did up here with this uh, swimming freestyle, pushing backward on the water drives the whole craft forward in the water, or actually it sits above the water. If it was in the water, it would go much slower because of drag. So here you have it. The action pulling back on the water in a swimmer, so the force of the jet pushing backward drives the whole craft forward. But rocket science would have you believe that the force being applied from the water being thrust out the nozzle would be applied to the nozzle itself. But anybody that's been on a jet ski or ridden one, if you pitch the jet ski forward and this nozzle comes out of the water, you do not have the thrust that you had when the nozzle's in the water. Anybody and everybody that spends two seconds thinking about that knows that. The atmosphere is much like the ocean or, or water. When you're in the water, you have the pressure of the water on you. The deeper you go, the more pressure. You ever seen in videos of um, a diver taking a styrofoam cup and then going down to a certain depth and coming up and that cup will shrink because of the amount of pressure being applied. And I forget the feet level, but the further you go down, the more it's like an, another atmosphere added. So um, at uh, ground level, we're, I think it's like 15 or 15.5 pounds per square inch of pressure on us at ground level. So the atmosphere is much like the ocean, just not as dense. So rockets, the same exact way, the nozzle, then you have the gases coming out, pushing on the atmosphere. If, if it were true, if, if rocket science, quote unquote, were true, when this no, whether this nozzle was above or below the sea level, it would still drive that jet ski at the same rate of speed, but it doesn't. Why? Because it pushes off of the water, which is more dense than the air. It's simple.
so simple. It's been it's right in front of your face, and we can explain it many, 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 many other ways. But I thought a jet ski would be a great way to demonstrate how a rocket pushes off air. You can see it when the rocket goes up. As it goes up, there's not as much pressure. The higher you go in the atmosphere, and you see the the uh, thrust start to s uh, span out because that pressure is not there holding it. The higher you go, the less uh, thrust you're going to have until you have none. Anyway, I just thought I'd use a jet ski to uh, help you understand the true dynamics and the true science of, uh, of thrust and rocket thrust. Thanks for listening.